Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In December of 2008, the FDA approved a new drug for the treatment of advanced prostate cancer. That drug is called Degarelix. And it is a drug that blocks the male sex hormone from being released in the testicles or being produced in the testicles. We have other drugs that also accomplish the same goal. Those drugs are called LHRH agonists. And the way those drugs work is during the very first injection, in the first 10 to 14 days, there is actually an increase in serum testosterone levels until they fall down to what we call castrate levels. Degarelix, however, does not cause that increase in testosterone. It is a LHRH antagonist. And by day three after the first injection, the serum testosterone drops by more than 90%. So that is a difference between the other drugs that are currently available. Now in the clinical studies that were done, it was compared to one other drug, a drug called Luprolide. And in doing that, over the course of one year during the study, the level of castration was maintained to the same extent maintained to the same extent in both arms of the study but this rapid drop in testosterone can be very appropriate for those men that in particular that have very advanced or metastatic disease where there is a potential to get worsening of pain or symptoms or other problems during that surge in testosterone that occurs during the very first injection. Degarelix is a way to avoid that from occurring. In men that have less advanced disease, where there is no risk of a flare, the significance of that short-term surge in testosterone remains unknown at the present time. Now, what else do we know about the drug? There are potential side effects. Uh, overall, in the clinical study, the incidence of side effects from the drugs being tested were similar, but there was about a 35% incidence of men getting some reaction at the injection site, either pain, some discomfort, some redness or swelling. It was well tolerated, of short duration, and usually resolved without any problems, but it is one difference. The other thing is the way the drugs are administered. This drug is given under the skin, and during the very first injection, a man has to get two injections, actually, in order to divide up the volume that is going to be administered. So you get two injections with the Degarelix versus one injection of the other drugs. The other thing is currently, Degarelix is only available as a monthly injection. So men will have to return once a month to get their next dose. The other drugs, the LHRH agonists that are on the market, can be given either monthly, every three months, four months, or even every six months. So there is greater flexibility in the frequency of getting those injections. But the bottom line is, it is good that we have a new opportunity to offer men something else, particularly those men who are at risk for getting a flare response. We do have other ways to block a flare response from occurring. But this drug offers us a one-stop one method of getting the testosterone down quickly and avoiding a potential flare response. Hopefully you'll find this information useful. Thank you.